Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and check all of our work to make sure everything is up to par. I, I call this collision detection, so I'm detecting to see what materials, you know, if my floors are interfering with my ceilings and vice versa. So I'm going to go to, actually I have to create a 3D view, and that's the best view to go into in order to um, do an inspection like this. So I just clicked on this little 3D icon right up here, this little house icon. Uh, right there and mm, it puts a 3d view right over here now I don't have to click on that again I just go in here and click on this 3d view the next time I want to go to it I'm also going to look through here and find a um, I'm looking for a box it's called the selection or section box sometimes you have to click over here in a white space Get to come up, and I probably just overlooked it, but there we go. Selection box, and I'm going to click on that selection box, and I'm going to go about partial part way through my building. I'm going to come over here to the view cube, and to get a really good elevated look at this in three dimensions, I'm going to click on front, and that's going to give me the best possible view. Now I'm looking at my floor down here at the ground level. That is perfect. Looking here at my um, floor on the second level, it's almost perfect, but as you see, my ceiling is embedded into my truss works. So let's do this. Let's click on my level line. This is my level two line that tells me where the floor is going. And I'm going to bump it up, and I might have to get in here a little closer. Okay, because I want to bump it up to where um, the, the uh, gypsum wallboard will attach okay it'll actually be attached to the bottom of those trusses for the of the second floor okay so that's lined up just just right now I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna see how much I moved and usually it's always about the same so nine foot one and three eighths inch so I'll go here and add one and three eighths of an inch one space three oops eight Enter. Okay, so now I still have that eight foot clearance. Since I moved my floor up, I still need to maintain that eight foot clearance for the ceiling. So all that's taken care of. Everything is hunky dory. Everything is nearly perfect. Um, I don't see how anyone could ever complain.